the person who's take calling, calling for it. So be quick on your feet. Lily Chen. Systemic disenfranchisement does not belong in New Zealand's democracy. According to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, universal and equal suffrage is regarded as a fundamental entitlement. However, the Electoral Act was amended in 2010, which prohibits the right on prisoners serving time, to, serving time in New Zealand to vote. Both the High Court and Supreme Court ruled this piece of legislation in direct breach of Section 12 of New Zealand's Bills of Rights Act. Upon statistical analysis, New Zealand prisons are overflowing with people of colour, but most predominantly Maori. Consequently, too many Maori prisoners are disenfranchised, which is counterintuitive to agenda of reintegration, as research indicates a clear link between civil engagement and reduction or reoffending. Furthermore, rehabilitation requires for assimilation into everyday life in a democratic society, and the most rudimentary right to voting is integral to that lifestyle. So not only does denying prisoners the opportunity to exercise this very prerogative exacerbate the sense of stigmatization surrounding their status, it also serves to undermine their human dignity, as the status quo insinuates that their crime is a reflection of their character, which is supposedly deserving of societal alienation. By design, our criminal justice system routinely criminalizes the oppressed and exonerates the privileged. Therefore, mass incarceration acts as an insidious tool of voter suppression, which targets our most vulnerable. Preaching the rhetoric that suffrage should be denied on a mere basis of criminality is so reductive of the complex cycle of criminalization, which victimizes people of color disproportionately. Living on colonized land, we uphold a collective responsibility to uh, to preserve, the, in, to, uh, to preserve the integrity of our democratic system, which incorporates the multiculturalism woven into the fabric of Aotearoa. Evolving the most marginalized voices in our democratic process promotes inclusion, as the diverse life experiences of prisoners are attached to ideologies of paramount importance. Allowing for such versatility in viewpoints safeguards diversity and representation on the legislative level. Curtailing the inalienable right to suffrage is a slippery slope. In fact, it sets a dangerous precedent for the future of democracy, and that is not a New Zealand I'm proud to be a part of. Thank you. Madam Speaker. Isabella Coppena. Yeah. I'm here today to speak.